Okay, so we're done with the CRI. Let's proceed now with optics. So when we talk about lamps or linear optics, we are dealing with how the light spreads on the surface. The most basic optics for outer lightings are the following. Super narrow, narrow beam, medium beam, wide flood, linear beam, which is the 12 by 40 degrees. And take note that some manufacturer uses the same label of a narrow beam or wide beam, but the degree of these beams are different from what I have mentioned above. So they might say narrow beam, but the degree of the optic is 12 degree only. So check these values as well. So here are some examples of the floodlights with different beam optics. So the 3000 Kelvin with narrow, this 3000 Kelvin with medium beam, and then this wide flood beam. Okay, in highlighting objects, you must identify which optic is to be used to get right effects and focus. Uh, look at these images below and check what optic has been used in highlighting these statues. Okay, so for example, if you have a wider surface, then of course you should um, use wider beam or wide beam. And if you want to focus only the face of the statue or one element of the statue, then you might use the narrow beam. So to double check the beam optic of the fitting you are planning to use, aim it to the wall and see out how it throws the light. And look at these images. So just try like this. You can either put those floodlights at the bottom of the wall and see how the effect of the light on the wall. Okay, so another way to check the cone diagram is to see how much light it will give if you place your floodlight away from the object. Look at these images. Uh, this is the sample diagram of a narrow beam, a wide beam, and a linear beam. Okay, so you can either put the floodlight at the bottom of the wall and aiming it up, or you can directly focus perpendicular to the wall to see how much spread of light in a certain distance when you place those floodlights or luminaires. Okay, so optics can also produce a clean shadow if you want to produce a shadow effect in your plants or trees. So here are the images of a regular optics and special optics when it creates a shadow on the wall. Okay, you can see those um, shadows that one image is a little blurry while the other one is sharper compared to the first one okay so that's it for now we will discuss more about these optics in our hands-on tutorial and lighting design techniques so watch out for that one so our next lecture will be about lamps okay so see you again on the next lecture mm -hmm.